Let us find... Or let us meet this swamp witch. Oh shit. Hopefully it's not the Nereid that I fought before. I don't know if that's a name or if it's a creature, a type of creature, but... You're not welcome here. I still need to get Tristian a shield. There we go. So big, so silly, so mortal. You're not welcome here. Falcos, as you approach the grove, you hear two voices in soft conversation. The first is a velvet bear... Baritone begging on the brink of tears. Please, Teresia, my love, don't send me away. I'd rather die than... I want you to live, a girl's voice says sharply. Falcos, you are my knight in shining armor. I love you like I've never loved anyone before, but if you stay, you'll... You'll... The girl's voice falters and she collapses into sobs. Wait, there's someone here! Show yourself! Approaching you, notice a fey couple. A satyr and a dryad who watch you with an anxious look. Holy kittens, look! It's fey! Real fey! Hello there! Lindsay waves her hand to the couple. It's an ambush, I'm telling you. I'll chop these assholes' limbs all right off. The half-orc reaches for his weapon. Why do you think that? They seem harmless to me. Nice, even. You just see enemies everywhere. Stow your weapon and don't draw it until I give the order. All right, all right. I'm just saying. Who are you? My name is Tiresia. I've lived here since my tree awoke from the earth and, I fir and first sought the sun. And this is Falcos from far away. We're... we are together. And we'll stay together till death takes us. The Dryad narrows her eyes. Ah, uh, blah blah. Can't you do without the death part? I managed so far! Tiresia, your cousin Meliance sends her regards and asks for five feather tokens. I'll always share with Meliance. Here, take them! What were your... what were you arguing about? These lands could be beautiful again, but not as long as this monster exists. We cannot leave! We must fight! My sweetheart, my love. Tiresia's voice trembles on the verge of tears. You've tried already and barely survived! Please, I'll endure. I'll go to sleep again. If you were to die, it would hurt me far more than if, you, if I let you go, knowing you're far away but alive and well. Look at me, Tiresia. I'll never leave you. Never! I beg you, don't send me away! Being without you, it'll kill me as surely as the scythe tree itself. The scythe tree won't leave us be. Simply being brave is not enough to defeat it, Falcos. Sooner or later, it will kill you. The dryad turns to you, hopeful. I beg you, put an end to the creature and our suffering and its suffering as well. We'll find a way to reward you. What is the scythe tree? And why is it dangerous? Well, it's... Teresia curls her fingers, imitating claws, and pretends to snatch something up with them. What? Falcos jumps in. First, it's not a tree. Fire is not its friend, and you'd, you you best use a weapon suited to chop through its bark, not impale it. Right. And also, its branches are very long. Be careful, it can reach you from afar. I will kill the scythe tree. No reward needed. There are not enough words in the world to express how grateful we are. You'll find it south of here in a large glade. Good luck. We'll wait for you here. What happened to the village? The dryad gives a heavy sigh and closes her eyes as if remembering. It was a beautiful place, a human village on the edge of the f real Fey kingdom. They lived in peace alongside the Fey for generations, united by friendship, sometimes even love. The dryad looks away. That is until our queen, Calitropsia, Calitropsia, Lost her heart to the headman's daughter. Such a beautiful couple. But it happened at their wedding day. Both humans and Fae had gathered to celebrate the union. No one knows what happened next, but in the mi midst of the festivities, Cali Calitropsia suddenly transformed. She changed into a monster! The dryad's voice drops and she glances around as if afraid another might hear. She became the scythe tree. She killed her bride, her love, then destroyed the village. 
Humans fled or were killed. Same with Fay. Our kingdom fell in a heartbeat. I couldn't leave my tree, I sl so I slept for many years, until I awoke to the sound of pipes playing such beautiful music. She smiled at Falcos. Sure. Okay, so where the fuck am I going for this? Hmm... I'm just gonna explore this- oh shit. Oh, ferocious wargs? What is that? A greater werewolf? Damn it! Shit! <sighs> well, that happened. What is that? Alright, so, yeah, that... I don't know <laughs> I don't know why I kept doing that. I, I did not... I mean, I knew I didn't have that much athletics, so... There was no way I was gonna win, but... I don't know. Come on! Yes! Come on! Kill it faster! Shit! Shit! I almost won! Damn it. Okay, let's see. How about if I do this? It is done. What? Wait, what? What? Why did that work? No stopping now. Adventures await. Ah, there you are. Well, that man's dead. Kill that guy. Come on, faster. Please, 
Please fucking succeed with doing literally anything. Oh, that was aggravating. <laughs> Wolves are not easy in this game. <laughs>